Hey now babes and welcome back to my channel. Here in this video, I will be doing a wash and work and here in this video, I will be going in and showing you guys how I created this blue Dior crystal set and if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Jess and I do the types of new videos like I said here in this video, I will be going ahead and showing you guys how I created this set and also if you guys are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to turn on the bell so that way you're going to refer to my upload. So as you can see, I am starting out by pushing back the cuticle, going in with a fine sanding man to remove any of the shine, any oils on the natural nail as you can see here. And then going in with my rose dust brush to remove any of the dust which i will also make sure to link down below all the products that we use so make sure to check down below in the description for any other products that i use as well as any discount code so that way you guys could go ahead and save some money when shopping and also do not forget to follow any of my social media make sure to go follow my instagram tiktok all that good stuff and also do not forget to check out any of my latest videos they will be linked down below as well as throughout this one so make sure to go check them out so here as you can see i will be going ahead and going in with my nippers to nip off any dead skin or just anything that i don't like on the nails you guys already know this i'm just gonna go ahead and remove anything that's in the way so as you can see i will be doing this to all the nails <laughs> and again dusting off any of the dust and then i will be going ahead and applying my tips so i will be going in with the nail street tips and applying them to all of the nails making sure that they fit from sidewall to sidewall going in with my glue which you will also see i do believe i grab my little nail glue dryer you will see maybe after like the middle finger or maybe after the ring finger i do grab it just so i could go a little bit faster and so the glue could dry faster so i don't have to stay there too long holding it so as you can see that's just simply what i'm doing and doing it on all of the nails And after applying the nail tips, as you can see, I'm going ahead and cutting it down to her desired length. So she did want to go to like about a five. So as you can see, I'm just going in with my Bill's Beauty Supply Scissors and cutting them down to her desired length. Yeah, 
And then after, as you can see, I will be going ahead and going in with my straight edge nail clippers and clipping off the sides of the pinky to create a stiletto nail since she did want a stiletto nail on her pinky. And then going in with my finely man again to go in at 4 p.m. to blend the natural nail to the nail tip so that way whenever you go ahead and apply your application, it's nice and smooth and you don't have to worry too much about like that little bump. So as you can see, I'm just smoothing it out, making sure going around the cuticle one last time to see if there's any last minute cuticle there still. So that's just simply what I'm doing and doing now all the nails and then after i will be going ahead and testing it off and then going in with my 180 file to file the sides to create this the little shape so that way whenever i go in and apply my application it's not hard and my shape is already there so that way it's easy to do my application so as you can see i'm just simply filing both sides with the coarser side and making it into a stiletto <laughs> Then after filing, I will be going ahead and dusting it off and then I will be going ahead and starting to go in with my application. So as you can see, I will be going ahead and priming all the nails and then going in with my brush, with my clear, and I will be adding a clear base to all of them since one, I am working with color and I am working with two different types of blues, a dark blue and then a light blue. So either way, I still decided to do a nice clear layer. So I'm doing a clear layer to all of them. I know you try to get one down on us ever since then it's been stressed Cause you know the reps them owe you one and we always play them best Wassa wassa just like the Crody's press I don't do no pasta Link with Skull and Cousin Jamie and Yada we get from Gaza Pasha Sasha pissed I was way too young at the time for slashings You niggas spend too much time on captions Not enough time on action Pick one man with slaps that's rapping up and he don't want no clashings The LB pouch on chest is just for fashion Niggas just acting Are you dumb or stupid? I have no pretentious thing when I know this room gets bumpy. Word to the post, DJ, he got different names in different countries. Three wraps and a whip, and we beat that case where man is way too comfy. I don't do well with people making discs and making threats. Boy, yo, man got flown like private jets for way, way less. I know you try to get one down on us ever since then, it's been stress. Cause you know the reps, them owe you one, and we always pay them best. Wassa, wassa, just like the Crody press, I don't do no pasta. Link with Skull and Cousin Jamie and Yada, we get from Gaza. Pasha, Sasha, pissed I was way too young at the time for slashings. You niggas spend too much time on captions, not enough time on action. Pick one man with slaps that's rapping up, they don't want no clashings. The LB pouch on chest is just for fashion. So then after applying the clear base, as you can see, I will be going ahead and going in with this light blue and applying it to the middle finger. And I will be going ahead and applying it to the middle finger, the pointer finger, and the thumb on all the nails, as you can see, with this exact same color. And then on the pinky and the ring finger, I will be going in with the darker blue. So if you guys are going in with different colors for a set, always go in with the lighter color and then go in with the darker color at the end. Because then it probably will stain your monomer and your brush and such. So as you can see, I'm just going ahead and applying the blue color to the middle finger, the pointer finger, and the thumb.
Then here as you can see, after I'm done applying my color, I will be going ahead and encapsulating it with my clear. So as you can see, I'm just adding a thin layer of clear to all the nails as you can see here. And then after applying the clear, as you could see, I will be going in with this dark blue color and applying it to the pinky and the ring finger. And then after, I will be going ahead and doing the exact same thing, encapsulating it, as you could see here.
passion up a miles away. Passive with the things you said. Passing up a mile away. Like it, baby. And then after as you can see i will be going in with a fine flat top drill bit and filing all the nails shaping them and then i will be going ahead and smoothing them out going around the cuticle to seal it cleaning the sides as you can see here as well as underneath and doing it to all the nails And then here as you could see going into filing so here as you can see i'm filing the sides she did want a squared and then a stiletto so as you could see i'm just going ahead and shaping all of them with my 100 180 file making sure that i'm filing the sides as well as filing the free edge so that way it gives it a, a nice crispy look so as you can see i will be going ahead and filing all of them
And here as you can see, once I'm done filing, I will be going ahead and buffing them all. And dusting off any of the dust as you can see here and then after this i do ask my clients to wash their hands and then after i will be going ahead and applying any nail art so as you can see i will be going ahead and applying a foil to the ring finger here i am applying the foil glue and carrying it for 30 seconds underneath the lamp and also applying top coat to the middle finger as you can see here and carrying it for 30 seconds as well as the same as the ring finger And then I will be going ahead and applying my white Dior foil, making sure that I'm applying it and rubbing it in just gently, nice and fast. And then, you know, just kind of ripping it off. And as I'm ripping it off, I'm also making sure that the foil is sticking on. If not, I'll rub it again, as you can see here, just simply doing it until it's all done. And after applying it, as you can see, I will also be going ahead and adding top coat to the pointer finger and the thumb and carrying it for 60 seconds underneath the lamp. And after it's done carrying, as you can see, I will be going ahead and applying bling. So I'm just going ahead and applying cuticle crystals on the ring finger, going ahead and applying my glue, as you guys just seen, going in with my wax pencil and going in with SS12s, I believe they are. If not, I believe they're SS9s, either or, and going in with crystal and applying those to the cuticle area, as you can see here. And then after, as you can see here on the pinky, I will be going ahead and applying glue gel. So I, like I said, I will make sure to link down below all the products. So check down below in the description, applying that. And I will be going ahead and applying my pixie. I am applying it also with a number four gel brush. And as you can see, I'm just simply going ahead and applying my pixie here, as you can see, and then carrying it underneath the lamp for 60 seconds. And then once it's in curing, I'm going in with my nail brush to dust off any of the pixie that didn't get cured. And then going in back in with my top coat to seal it with the top coat and curing it for 60 seconds underneath the lamp. And as you can see, to finish it off, I am going to be going ahead and applying cuticle oil, applying it to all the nails. And definitely comment down below your thoughts and opinions. This is the final result. I definitely hope that you guys enjoy. Do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and see you guys in the next one.